Hi everybody and welcome to today's Diesel Doocy. DieselDoocy.com re-unboxing. Let's take a look at a trusty Timex Iron Man. That's right, today's re-unboxing comes to us from 47s.com. And you may ask the reason this is a re-unboxing. Well, you're about to find out. Let's go ahead and open this and you'll see why this is a re-unboxing. Here we go. That's right, do you know what this is? That's right, this is my High CRI Mini CR2. And yep, this, this is my flashlight, there's that chip. You know why this is a re-unboxing? Because this flashlight just got back from 47's warranty service. And, I don't know, this is, I'm not really complaining, but I'm going to state a fact. I sent, the uh, four sevens received this light on May 11th for repair. And I'm just now getting it back. This had to go all the way over to trying to get it repaired. This, this is not four sevens fault, but I'm just telling you, this is one of the downsides of doing your manufacturing in another country. Because they have to send it back to the factory to be repaired. Well, anyway, the reason, the issue with the light, it was not a terribly serious one. It had what I call a water violation issue. Water was leaking in the flashlight. So, you know what we're going to do, don't you? We're going to see if that issue's been repaired and it's not focusing at all. The thing is, the water only violated the light when you turned it all the way down, like on. So, we're going to see what happens when I put it in water again. We're going to see if water violates the light again. So, here we go. Let's see if the light works first. Yep, the light works as it should. So now we're going to put it in the water. Here we go. High CRI mini CR2 going in the water. That's right, look at this, it's in a Norfolk Southern glass, isn't that pretty cool? Alright, the light, we're going to move it around a little bit, oh great, I'm going to spill because too much water in here and I'm spilling, see? Okay, I'm going to have to get a towel to clean this up here in a second, but let's see if I can get the light out. I'll do this over the garbage can so I don't spill anymore. There, okay, here, the light is coming out. Let's move it around a little bit. Ooh, do, 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 do. Now we're gonna dry it off before we open it up. And we will see if water has violated my CR2 again. Okay, camera's adjusting. Here comes the moment of truth. And threads are dry. Let's look in here. All right, four sevens. I guess you've repaired my light. There is not one drop of water in my CR2. So a big thank you to four sevens. That's right. I want to give a big thank you to four sevens. I know it took a little while to fix the light, but nonetheless. They honored their warranty, and they are a fantastic company. And they, uh, I will say this, 4.7s does stand behind their products. And we'll put it back together right here on camera. Uh, once we get to focus, there we go. As you know, for those of you who watch my elevator videos, most of y'all know that for a while, 4.7s has been the official flashlight brand of elevator photography. That's right, right here we have the Quark. Hi CRI Mini CR2. Go ahead and turn it on here now that um, I got back together. See it's got three brightnesses. And another flashlight I like to use in elevator filming is the Quark 
R G B neutral white. As you know, it has a very floody beam, and you can change the color to red, green, blue. And then lastly, it's kind of dark, so we use the quark. That's right, this right here is my original quark. It's over two years old, and it has been through over two years of heavy abuse at work on the railroad. With that being said, um, I just want to say I highly recommend 4.7's products, and a big thank you for fixing my high CRI Mini CR2. And I guess all I'll say now is, that's it.